Hello guys, welcome to <clears throat> welcome to this week's video. Today is Mother's Day, but today is a very special day for more than one reason. Yes, it's Mother's Day. Yes, we're celebrating the beautiful woman in our lives, but it is also the day that I'm getting baptized. I'm very, very excited. It's currently 10 past 12, so I'm going out for Mother's Day celebrations at quarter to one at the Zeelong Tea Estate in Hamilton. My family is coming down, so mum, dad, nana, and my brother and we're going out for high tea. So I'm gonna start getting ready. Okay, this is gonna shock some people who've been around here for a while. I'm gonna put on makeup today. But basically the plan is get ready, high tea, come home, turn around, head to church. I have to be there at 3.30 before my baptism, which the service starts at five. At five o'clock, friends and family are gonna turn up. I'm gonna get baptized. Church is going to happen and then I'm heading back home to Auckland because I have an appointment up there in the morning. And I actually came back from Auckland this morning after being there for the weekend. So, busy times. But yeah, I'm going to get ready. I also have some fake lashes that I'm going to try on, which were sent to me by Ardell, which are like new ones. I don't even think that they've hit the market yet, which are water activated. I've never worn fake lashes before, so this is going to be fun. I tried to wear some last year for the uni ball and my eyes rejected them. It's time to do some lashes. So these are the ones that I was sent by Ardell and they're water activated. So it says patent pending. So I'm assuming that these are worldwide first. And you basically, instead of having lash glue, you dip them in a little bit of water and then the adhesive does its job and you just chuck them on. But that sounds easy, but I've never worn fake lashes before. So they're both very full looking lashes considering I don't, I've never had fake lashes or anything. I'm quite nervous because I don't want to put them to waste because I don't know what I'm doing. So I might call in a flatmate who does know what they're doing. Danny, can I have some help? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, hello vlog. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> put your lashes on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Immerse in warm water for 10 to 15 seconds. Ensure lash band is fully saturated before applying to the lash line. Thanks but which part, where does it go? Does it sit so like above? It goes above? on like right there. Like above your lashes. Like on that little thick part between your where your lashes go. Like under the lashes. Then. No. So like directly, like right yeah, where they come. Yeah, you shove it on the bottom of your eyelid as bottom as you can get it. Oh, Measuring, cut it to size. Okay. That's upside down. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you need more help than I thought. Uh, <laughs> Why do you have a bigger makeup collection than I do? What's up with that? It's easier with tweezers oh, hey. to do. Video for dancing with your eyes. Ooh, the inner corner does not want to stick. <laughs> it's using, it's just smushing your eyeballs together and hoping it'll stick. It kind of worked though. I think it's a user fault because I don't really know what I'm doing. You can see that that inner corner is not wanting to stick. That does not look natural at all. Okay, pop off. <laughs> well, fail. Use error or lash error. Couldn't tell you. I think I'm the wrong person to judge that because I tend to do things wrong and I also didn't know what I was doing. But anyway. I mean, I struggled and I do lashes all the time. Well, oh, yes, yeah. Owen just arrived with some food because he's just been coaching this morning. How did they go? Yeah, good. What was the score? 14 nil. And who won? Us. Yeah. It's not all about the score at that age. It's all about the development of the players and the way that they play and the way that they're trying to play them. Those are words but if we me. lost, then I would have been upset. Exactly. Even if good. Exactly. So yeah, Owen's here. He came bearing the food from the after match that the boys didn't eat. So. Now the girls are. So now we're having a picnic. So I ditched the lashes. We're just going all natural. I said I was wearing makeup. I am. Owen didn't believe me because he couldn't see it, but I am. Outfit is this dress from Renting with SB. I'm an ambassador for them, so. Hashtag ad, hashtag gifted. And then this jacket is from Glassons and the shoes are Converse. I was going to wear heels, but the weather is like raining, so that was just not practical. So yeah, this is the look. Owen's here. And we're going to go and eat some yummy food. Never mind, guys. Slight change in jacket. We've gone for the classic Glassons ball denim jacket. So yeah, again, Glassons, but yeah. Let's go. Okay, 
Okay, wait, wait, watch this. Do you want to go for walkies? <gasps> walkies? Yeah? <laughs> Introducing our flat dog. <laughs> he looked, he is so well trained. Okay. He's Murphy, this isn't our dog. We're just dog sitting. I wonder if people from school will notice. <laughs> that you can if you know who this dog belongs to, is and it yourself? If comment you, below. Comment below if you know who the dog belongs to. I'll give you a hint. My man is in charge of him. Look My tea was good, but it's time for me to go to church. It's probably wobbling around all over the place. I do apologize, but I'm on my way to church. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm excited. I have to be there. I'm actually supposed to be there right now, but I'm a bit late because of the whole high tea situation. I'm I'm excited, a little bit nervous because I have a feeling I may have to share my testimony on stage in front of the congregation. A little bit nerve wracking because I feel like people that people that don't know me like no, actually no let me rephrase that people who only know me from YouTube assume that I'm a really outgoing person that I love public speaking that I could like you know entertain a crowd if you know me you know that that is not the case you know that I am a very nervous person you know that I don't really like public speaking I'm gonna jam out some worship music and then when I get there I don't know what I do for like an hour until the service starts but I'm sure they debrief us and go through a few things the whole squad's coming the whole flat's coming even though Morgan and Danny have like never been to church before they're still coming to support me which actually means the world to me obviously my mum and dad are coming my nana my brother I think Owen's coming spirit sound rushing wind we need a fresh wind the fragrance of heaven hearts that burn holy fear prophesy and sing Excited, but I'm so nervous. I think it's important to mention as well. Until today, I was the only one who had signed up. Normally, there's like five to seven people that do this, and I signed up last October. I don't think I've mentioned this. Last October, I signed up to be baptized, and it was cancelled because there weren't enough people, which is fair enough. Like, it's a lot of effort to go to for one person because they set up like a pop up tub and, like, you know organize all the logistics of it and so since they got cancelled last time I got told the other day that I was the only one for this time and I was like that's gonna get cancelled again I've hyped myself up but they've decided to go ahead with it because the same thing happened to me last time and they think like you know this is might be a god thing maybe he wants this to be a moment where it's just me but I just got told by someone today at the church I don't think they were supposed to tell me but apparently I'm not the only person so I'm actually quite relieved by that because um, I don't like the attention all being on me. I know you're like Emma, you literally have a YouTube channel which is all about you. Yes, but I don't like the attention being on me. So I am quite relieved by that. Declaring that your relationship with Jesus is real and important and that your source of salvation is Jesus. Tonight, uh, we're not baptizing them into the Rice Church or this movement. We are baptizing them into Jesus Christ. We ask them two questions in the pool. We ask them, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Which they would say yes. We ask them, uh, do you believe that you died and rose to life for the forgiveness of your sins? They would say yes. And then we say, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to Jesus Christ. We baptize them from now all cheer, we celebrate them with their family. And as they come out of the water, we invite friends and family to come out to the front, lay hands and pray. Maybe we have a word for them. Be a powerful night. Yes, um, so I grew up in a Christian home when I was young.
They're massive though. Look at the size of them. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 